Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you give yourself as well as others. You're finding that courage to get through whatever that has been holding you back and you keep doing you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload the next video if you feel like you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive future and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and if this gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful piano music, I love piano, y'all. If you've been with me for a while, I really love piano. I miss playing the piano. Uh, it's called Luck Music, Happy Energy Wave, Meditation, Happy Charge, Pull All the Luck While Sleeping. I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oak is dealing with the dark night of the soul y'all written, written so much stuff down I, I don't I think I did a video like this about this last year but it just seems like so many people are going through it and it was like when I started doing more reading about it today it was so crazy because it's like so many things I, I can resonate with that I've been through that was like um when I read about it before, it wasn't the same article, so it got more in-depth about it. And it was like so many things that I was doing today. Y'all, I didn't even do um, uh, live, and I do apologize for that because I did tell y'all I was going to have it doing, done daily. But today I've been answering so many emails, helping out so many people. I had to go ahead and take care of that first because I've been putting that off. So it was just like everything came out all at once and I've been like, a sister is drained. <laughs> a sister is really drained. So I have wrote down like seven things that um that they say you might experience while going through this or you have experienced, you know, because there's so many people going through um like kundalini's ascension. Um spiritual awakenings and also dark night of the soul and it, it's just like they want to compare it it's kind of but sort of like depression but it's just like a different state of mind it's like the dark night of the soul is like philosophical psychological you got to go through all these things it was like meant for you to do it's like things that's supposed to be wiped out of your life that you know where the ego is broke down it's just everything is life you know that it's just you know completely different but it was just like the, the seven omens to look for is you feel like a sense of sadness, which is often uh, verges into despair. This sadness often is triggered by the state by the state of the life, humanity as of the world as a whole. You feel acute sense of worthlessness. That's number two. You have you have a uh, constant feeling of being lost and condemned to life of suffering and or emptiness um, that was three four you possess a painful feeling of powerlessness worthlessness and five is you will feel that a self-control is weakened making it difficult for you to act you um, and six is you lack and finish no joy of things you once seemed excited in it's like sometimes i used to be like that it's like certain things i would be so into and it's like now i'm looking at it now like i just don't enjoy it anymore and it's like seven um you crave for loss of something intangible like a longing for a for a distant place or return home again like I do <laughs> I really am ready to go home but um there was so many of those things that I've been through but it's just like how I look at perception of life there are so many 
emails and stuff that I've been getting where people are talking about Riles and I'm alone. I'm going through this dark time in my life and I can't see myself out of it. And I'm just like wrecking my mind. I'm like, God, you know, I really want to help these people to find their way because it's just like I hate seeing people go through things like that and they have no clue about, you know, how to get themselves out of it. And it's just like so many times, y'all probably hear my cat, He's over, she's over there scratching her mess out of her, her little, uh, Hello, caller. So if that's what you hear, but yeah, it's just like so many times I've been hearing, and I felt that way myself at one time. You know, where you feel like you're alone. It's just like when you go through this dark night of the soul. It is just like you have that new meaning of life. It, it was just like some people are still going through it, and sometimes it takes a long time. And when I started reading all the things that I, you know, that I resonate with, I mean, my mind was blown because it was just like, dang, you know, I really look at life different now. Before, I felt like I was stuck. Um, I was hindered. You know, I was stagnant. You know, I needed freedom. I felt like a slave. You know, and I, I, I felt like that. But it's all in a state of mind when you know, when you're, especially like if you're dealing with narcissistic people and things like that, which, you know, I had that. You know, I have that situation where I can look at things and say, you know what, I'm not going to respond to how the things I used to respond to it. I'm not going to go back to my old ways when I start, you know, when I get put in situations like this. Because when I used to get stressed out, y'all ain't going to lie, I'd get a glass of wine, smoke me a cigarette, and hand me a blunt. I'm not lying. Now it's just like when I see things, I can't just keep picking that stuff up just because that's, that's an escape. You know, even though um, I don't down anybody that does that, you know, we helps you. What helps you with depression? It helped me get to my higher self. A lot of my videos helped me when I was, you know, I was going to meditate and I would smoke and I would ask the universe. You know, I'm not smoking just just to smoke, but it would just. To you know, get to my higher self, get that knowledge, and I would see so many things that you know. I wasn't really seeing on my own and it was like I was using that as a crutch but now for the last few days since I haven't been smoking and all this stuff I mean my mind's so much clearer now it's just like when you say you know what I'm proud of myself because there's things that's happening in my life that I really want to react in an old way but I'm not doing that I just choose to stay silent because it's like you know why am I gonna waste my energy on that you know that situation is not gonna change those people are not gonna change so what if you know me being upset, what is that going to do? It's going to take my power away and giving it to them. You, you know, it's all in the state of mind. When we feel like we are stuck, you know, you have to put yourself, you know, ease yourself in this, you know, look. <laughs> you know, you can get yourself out of this situation. And sometimes it's hard, you know, if you're stuck in your mind like that. Because sometimes we can be a slave to our own egos. We can be a slave to our own negative thoughts. We can be a slave to our own emotions. And it's just like... You have to be able to say enough is enough. You know, life happens. Life brings sorrow. Life brings pain. But then it brings structure. It brings strength. Because we learn so much from everything that we consume, whether if it's good or if it's bad. So it was just a blessing, you know, to be able to help so many people today. And it just had me doing research research and research you know that's the reason why i haven't been doing any live chats today because i was like y'all i'm so tired you know i've been you know light working a day but i love what i do i really do so it's just like when y'all you know y'all hit me up and y'all ask me these questions i love to feel the need like that i really do and it's just like you know it brings positivity in people's lives because i know if i feel that i want the next person that you know I talk to I want you to feel that too you know I want to get help you get there so it's like when you're going through the dark night of the soul know it's a good thing you know it might feel bad at, at times it might even make you feel like you're going through hell trust me I know because it's like all the stuff I was reading on I was just like you know what this is crazy <laughs> this is so crazy but this is something we have to go through it breaks down the ego you're not you know because there's so many you know so many of us that the ego is overriding it'll let you think that you're alone it'll make you feel like you're worthless or you're not gonna ever get out of this or you're you know you're gonna keep going through this you have to train your mind to say you know what speak it into existence i'm not gonna keep going through this 
you know, this is going to be over. You know, my blessings are coming soon or I'm about to get this job or I'm about to move or I'm about to get this. You have to speak that stuff in existence. When you know you can train your mind to know there are better things coming your way, the more things will start coming your way and the more you believe it, the more you attract. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I missed y'all and, you know, hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to see how tomorrow is. I will definitely, um, well, later on today, I will definitely try to have a um, live feed up but I'm just so drained from doing all the things I've been doing so you know I, I will try my best to go ahead and do that but if not I will see you on my next video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed loved and highly favored and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and drop me a line or two I would love to get to know you where you get to know me, especially if it's about the your you know the positive feedback of the video or just impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive directions. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.